Okay, a gas is held at constant pressure while its volume decreases uh, decreases from 450 liters to 200 liters. Okay, so right off the bat, it tells you that the volume already is decreasing from here to here. So obviously, the 450 liters is where it started, and it went all the way to 200 liters, and that's where it ended. And we're dealing with volume here. So with volume, uh, so for this one, this will be the first volume, V1. Okay, and the second volume uh, would be 200 liters, V2. Again, because this, it started with 450 liters, and then it went all the way to 200. So that's why it's first, and then this one's second. What would be the final temperature? So here, your temperature two is the one we're trying to solve. So that's the one we're trying to solve, okay? So B if the initial, and excuse my little scratchy notes here, B if this initial temperature is 298 Kelvin. So initial temperature, that means it's this one right here. So that will be your T1. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by putting in the initial volume would be 450 liters. The initial temperature is 298 Kelvin. Okay, and then your volume, your second volume would be 200 liters. Okay, and the temperature too is the one we're trying to solve. Okay, so again, uh, the, in, the initial volume, the V1s and T1s, you have to divide that, and that should equal to the final volume, which is your uh, V2 and T divided by T2. Okay, so this is more like cross multiplying. So um, so we're trying to solve for, uh, for T2, okay? So just keep in mind... Um, <coughs> that basically we're going to be cross multiplying. In other words, this T1 should go to this V2, in other words. Okay, since we're, we're uh, solving for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, um, okay, so we start by putting, we, we cross multiply each one, so it will be V1 times, and I'm going to put parenthesis instead of multiplication, it's a, it's the same thing, okay? And that equals to t, uh, to uh, v two and t one, okay? And then uh, again, don't forget your parentheses so you can know that you're multiplying. Um, after that, we need to um, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our numbers, okay? So v one is four hundred and fifty liters. T2 is, uh, uh, is we don't know. That's our variable. Okay, so we're going to keep it the same. And then V2 is 200 liters. And then T1 is 298 Kelvin. Okay, so in here, uh, we need to move the 450 because we need this variable by itself. So we do the opposite of the math that is occurring here. This is multiplying, so the opposite of that is division. So it would be 450 liters. That's the one we want to move, so that's the one we're going to divide. So that we, we do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign, which is 450 liters, and then you cancel. Now T2 is by itself. Perfect, because that's what we want to solve. That's why it's T2 equal, right? So now we, now I know you have a calculator there, so just go ahead, multiply 200 times 298 equals, and that's a big number, okay, divided by 450 liters, and that should give you 132, and that is your Kelvin. Okay, so awesome.